Hey, well, how's it going, Blue Riser here? Today we have Iron Saga. This is a game that was heavily advertised to me, and I just wanted to check it out. One of the things they were advertising heavily was that Hiroyuki Sawano made the music. If you don't know who that is, I'm pretty sure if you watch anime, you've heard of his songs. Uh, he does from Attack on Titan, Kill a Kill, Old One, one of my favorites, Guilty Crown, Thunderbolt Fantasy. This dude is all over the place when it comes to the anime industry and music. He was doing the music for this game, and so obviously it drew a lot of people in. It drew me in. I was like, oh, he's making music for it? That's pretty cool. I want to see what it's about. And it's a mecha thing. And the last mecha game I wanted to play went out of service. I had it downloaded, but I never got around to playing it. And like a month later, it was out. Totally gone. The service ended. So finally, this was like a good time for me to jump into a different mecha one. Unfortunately, I'm kind of disappointed. It's not my cup of tea. I kind of feel the same way I do about Crossing Field. We're going to do a little bit of missions. Now, to get a lot of the stuff, you need to keep leveling up your account. It, it's kind of tedious, to be honest. But we're, we're just going to do a few main story stuff. We'll do some easier stuff just to show what the main gameplay is and stuff like that. So this game does use stamina. I think it's about time we throw out stamina as a system. I don't know. It just doesn't feel as good anymore. So this is the main gameplay. I'm not controlling a thing right now. This is the story mode. I, I didn't like this. And I'll be honest. I, I just didn't like this. You can influence. And I think that's the best word to use. You can influence your max. So if I touch one of them, I can tell them to move a certain direction uh, with this little arrow here. See? You can influence how they move. You can touch them to use their skills. There's a cooldown, so you can't just like do a bunch of skills at once. So maybe if I want him to try to touch that health, I can influence to move that way. And that's the end of the battle. Another quick thing, this map is totally unnecessary. Uh, I feel like if they wanted to do this, they could have just done tabs, to be honest. Like, tab will say story part one, story part two, and then like, s special thing, skirmish. They could have done something like that. This just feels a bit too much for no real reason. So here we are, a new mission. Again, since I have no real control over this, I, uh, I, I don't like it. It's really just sit down and watch, uh, for the most part. You can set skills to go off by themselves, too, in the settings, I believe. I don't believe there's a thing in here to control that. When I had first saw pictures and stuff of it, I was like, oh, it looks like a bullet hell, like a, a mecha bullet hell where you could choose your own mechas, the pilots, and maybe they have their own abilities. And that would have been way, way more fun than, than this. Uh, I, I just don't like it. I don't like this is the main story. Now, there is a mode where you can control the robot, so we're going to show off that right now. It is right here called Combat Simulation Action Game. The whole game should have been an action game. You can control things like auto-aim, rotation. It rotates the phone for landscape, for phones with small screens, and then you have portrait for large screen and emula emulator players, which I'm surprised they even acknowledge emulation but whatever i mean that's fine enough we're gonna do a uh, portrait you have different combo attacks you've got a b c is i forget d is jump but this this is this is what the game should have been putting oh putting the game in uh auto auto aim is the best like maybe they could have er ergonomically fixed it Maybe chose to play the game in either landscape or portrait instead of having a switch. That way they didn't have to think of two different play schemes. But this is what it should have been from get-go. This right here. And I am getting... Uh, I am getting bodied. Oh my god. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Please. Please. <laughs> oh Jesus. I haven't played it in a while. Nice excuse, right? Regardless. Here we go. There we go. Like, that's cool. I like that. That's what the game should have been from the get-go. But the main story is played by itself. And I don't think one mode is enough to really salvage the game. At least for me. As you can see, there's even more to it. The story itself is pretty generic. You start off with, with a big introduction of these characters. And then you kind of move on to basic simple missions. Which, at first I was going to, I was just about to defend it. But actually, I don't, I don't see a real reason to defend it. They could have started the game off with a huge, huge bang. But instead, it kind of, the story section of it starts with like, oh, this intrigue and these characters, 
Uh, it, pretty good character designs too. And then you move on to like just kind of boring stuff. And then as you can see, I haven't unlocked every single thing, but I think the main point I want to hit on is that the gameplay just kind of wasn't satisfying from get-go. Like I started the game up, was super excited, and then we got into main story, and I just was like, oh, this is it? Of course, I could change with Arena, all these other features, but right now, just starting the game off, it, it doesn't feel like anything I want to put a lot of time in. And it's a shame, because I like a lot of what it is. You go over here, this is your hangar, you have your pilots. It, it's pretty, pretty high depth, the amount of stuff we have here. But again, look, skill, affection, commander level, like a level 20, they expect you to play so much of the game, but a lot of it is locked behind the level wall. And then here are your mecha, look at these mecha designs, it's so cool, this is just looks like a Gundam to be honest. Yeah, it looks like the Iron Blood Gundam. Yeah, look at it, <laughs> it's just look, it looks like a Gundam. But it's cool, you get to see all this art when you tap through. Oh, so cool, it's so awesome. I like character design, it's one of my favorite things. And these are some kick-ass character design. These are badass. It even has reviews. Lo unlock at level 15. Are you... Alright. Then you have your parts. These are like equipable items you can put on your robots. Then you have a compendium here. Where you can see all the characters. Probably not see them. Only the ones you've unlocked. But at least get an idea of how many mechas and stuff there are in this game. And of course, as time goes on, there will be a bunch of them. This is your team, you can equip items, uh, the equipment to your robots, change your pilots, change your mecha, I keep saying robots, mecha is more suitable. And as you can see, you can add even more at level 25, 35, 45, 55, a, a, a long ways. Then you have your social, which I don't 100% understand, I guess it's your friends and stuff like that. Then over here is the cafe, which I believe this part helps you uh, increase the affection with characters. You have recruit where you can recruit new characters. Coin market where you can buy stuff with the in-game money. And then the black market where you can buy stuff with the premium currency and other in-game currencies. And then you move over to the store, which is the gacha, where you can summon robots, mechas. And luckily, they do have a lot of free pulls. This one every two days, this one every single day. And they have a bunch of like do do certain amount of pulls, and you can get an S mecha. We can try the gacha out right now. Let's go for let's go for this one, high end mecha. Oh bam, Sukikage again. So I have that one. Desert Fox, Julius, the Valkyrie looks really nice. Achilles, Mecha Slug. All right. There you go, pretty cool, right? I think it's cool. And honestly, that's really it. I think if anything, you have to try it out yourself. There's no real harm in doing it to see if you really want to invest your time into this. Unfortunately, I don't think it's really worth much since I kind of only look like looking at the robots. And to be honest, I could just go to the wiki and do that. You know, I, I gave it a good shot. It, it's really not my cup of tea. It might be someone else's, but uh, it's, it's definitely not mine. I could recommend it to you if you like mecha, if you like good character design. Surprisingly enough, this game isn't just all 100% waifus, there are male characters in it. There are other things too, this is the arcade where you can like bet gold to see if you win them out, you know, like uh, let's say above. And so it's, it will pretty much play out, it, it's pretty much horse racing, <laughs> in a way, sort of. I think I bet above for some reason. I don't know why. Obviously, I lose on that one. Oh, no, I won. Like, overall, I think if the game plays 100%, like the combat simulation, with an auto option, then I would have liked it. I would have definitely invested way more time into the game. But uh, since the main story plays like how it is, I, I just can't. I just can't. That's the main way of progression. And then other forms of play are the same as well. I like games that you can actually play. Yes, I like auto options. I should I should clarify that too. Auto options are good. I like them because sometimes you don't want to have to sit at your phone for two hours grinding. And if you could just tap it every two to three minutes while you're doing something else, then yeah, it can get stuff done. What does that say about the nature of games? I don't know. We can talk about that another time. I feel like you should be at least able to play every single second of it. 
if you want to. Like the Hiroyuki Sawano music, really cool. Unfortunately, the really good tracks don't play very often. And I'm not even sure I can include them in this video since Hiroyuki Sawano music normally gets blocked, claimed, or muted, all types of stuff. So I don't want to risk it. If there's a song that isn't copyright claimed, I'll put it in the, I'll put it in this video. With all that said, I'm done here. Uh, don't forget to vote in the eye icon at the top right of the video. We're carrying on with the AppCast week, so I'll definitely see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.